All right. This is the first uh, rather uninteresting part of the show where if you happen to be one of the lucky ones who logs in immediately, uh, you get to find out, uh, you get to be here for my sound check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a second because any second now, the screen on my, on my right side here, my right side, will show up. Ha-ha! And it works. It works. Brilliant. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so that works. Do do do. It always scares me when I hear those sounds in the house. Uh, I work from home, so I'm by myself. Every once in a while, I hear the sound of a piano playing, and it's the cat walking across the piano keys. So it can be a little bit scary every once in a while. But hey, if you're here, welcome to the Tuesday Cooking with Linux show. I'm glad to have you aboard. If you are watching live, that would be awesome. If you are not watching live, and instead you are watching, uh, this is a. Uh, by the way, this is what I'm using. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. If you're not watching live then uh, you'll get to watch it afterwards and maybe you can just scoot ahead, you know, two or three minutes to where the show actually starts, where I'm not just testing out things. Um, in case you're curious about how I do this, uh, you uh, can take a look at the screen right now and uh, you will see this thing here. It says OBS Studio. This is the open broadcasting software. This is a, um, a free open source uh, software that you can download, which runs on a variety of platforms, including obviously Linux, which is what I'm running at the moment. And uh, for the curious among you, let's uh, let's fire up a console here, and uh, so you can see what it is that I'm running. LSB dash release. Oops, sorry. Cdc slash <laughs> Red Hat release. I am running Fedora release 28. This is what I'm running. Last year I had a, uh, last year, oh my God, this is getting complicated. Okay, last week I, I got into um, I got into a strange discussion where I decided that uh, I had to switch to a different distribution. I was upset with the one that I was working on. So so I switched to something entirely different. So this is, uh, this is what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, Fedora release 28, uh, open broadcasting software. I had to download through a flat pack. Maybe I should do a show on flat pack as well, but I had to download it on flat pack because there are all these weird little issues with Fedora that were driving me crazy, but I stuck with it and believe it or not, I'm happy. I'm happy at the moment. So I'm actually happy with uh, with my Fedora decision. So there you go. So this is open broadcasting software and let's get on with the subject of today's show, which is to install a, um, uh, a free and open source alternative to the popular um, social networks that are out there. All right. All right. So I'm going to switch back to my uh, screen where my face is not staring at you because it distracts me and I don't want to look at it. So there you go. So by Oh, by the way, um, bon appétit. Ah, and if you want, you can grab yourself a glass of wine as well and follow along. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get rid of the camera. <laughs> the camera is gone. All right. We're going to go over here. Uh, just uh, there's my Linux journal page. And uh, just uh, before I go on one more time, one last thing before I go on. Thanks to Linux Journal for making this all possible. Thank you, Linux Journal. And, um, and subscribe. Subscribe to Linux Journal. There's a link up here. LinuxJournal.com. Be part of the community. All right, let's do this. The service or the uh, open uh, source network that we're going to do today is called Friendica. F-R-I-N-D-I dot C-A is where you can find the software for this thing. Um, when you go to the uh, when you go to the download, um, you know, if you want to download it to uh, resources and you want to install it, there is a GitHub repository for Friendica, and it is github.com slash Friendica. Go figure. And um, the latest release is up there. There's Friendica full 3.6 tar.gz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this thing literally from scratch. Okay, so we're going to go right from the beginning and hopefully it'll actually work the way that I am hoping it's actually going to work. All right. Um, think, first things first, let's uh, open up uh, my console here. Take my watch off so that I can type more comfortably. And uh, we're going to connect to my um, to a server that I just created. And where did this server come from? Just magically appeared out of thin air? Not exactly. Uh, there are lots of different places where you can buy an inexpensive server. Okay, one of them is this one here. All right, this is Linode, Linode.com, which uh, which from which you can rent you know cheap servers or inexpensive servers if you prefer the term inexpensive servers. Um, from five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, whatever, depending on what your needs happen to be. Now on Linode over here, 
Um, the, uh, the machine that I just created is this one here. It is currently running. It is up and running. What I did was I, um, I created a machine uh, that I could access remotely and I went to my registrar and I created a um, free friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com because I do have the domain freethinkeratlarge.com. And so I made a friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com so it would take me to this particular page or to this particular server. All right. And by the way, if you do this, uh, there are lots of different things that you can build. You can choose uh, different servers, uh, but I've already built the Ubuntu server. It does not take long. It takes a few seconds, but we're just going to leave this one um, as it is because it's already built and ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to go and log on to this one right now. Root at friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com. And if you take a look, this is an Ubuntu 16.04 system. Um, I'm going to do everything from root. I know this is a bad idea. I know you're not supposed to do stuff like that, but just for the sake of being able to install things quickly and easily, I'm going to do this. Obviously, you're going to want to go through the whole sudo stuff and, and do things uh, nicely and intelligently. By the way, if you're on and watching at the moment, please, uh, you know, say hello in the, uh, in the chat window there. Here, I'm going to go type hello. Um, say hello. Let me know you are here. By the way, of course, when I record these things ahead of time, I you know edit out all the silly stuff. But there we go. All right, so we have a um, we have a system which is basically like a, a system with nothing on it. In fact, there is no Apache on this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install Apache. So apt update to make sure that we were you know looking at the uh, latest repositories, and then I'm going to go apt install Apache Apache. Whoops, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Apache 2, Apache 2. You know, at this stage of the game, there really should be a, um, there really should be a uh, synonym for Apache 2 or Apache 2, Apache 2, because let's face it, it's basically the same thing. So Apache, let's do, let's just make sure that everything is fine here. Apache, CTL, um, uh, what's the word? Config test, whoops, config test. Uh, could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. Um, set server name directive, all right. So vi slash etc at etc apache2, uh, apache conf, uh, and uh, let's go server. Is it server name or server name? Ser server name. Oh, it's not down there. Hold on. Uh, what's the directive? Server name. Yeah, okay, in caps. Okay, so. Server name and uh, I N D I C A dot free thinker at large. Whoops, free thinker at large dot com. All right. Hi, John. Welcome to the channel. Good to see you here. All right. Um, and by the way, feel free to ask questions. And every once in a while, I'll glance over into the chat window and make sure that things are actually working. All right. Let's find out if that works a little bit better here. So we're going to system. Uh, CTL and I'm gonna go. Uh, what is it? System CTL restart. Okay. Uh, yeah, restart Apache two. I always get them mixed up. Sometimes I want to go Apache two restart, but it's restart Apache two. All right. Let's uh, see if we've got this right. Apache CTLs. Cool. All right. Config test works. All right. So we got Apache set up now. Um, and uh, one of the ways we're gonna test this out is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go to uh, HTTP colon slash slash f r i d n d c a dot uh, free thinker at whoops at at large.com why did i come up with such a complicated domain name there we go free thinker at large.com so the apache 2 part of the configuration works like i said i'm doing this from scratch okay so we are going literally through all the steps on this excuse me while i take a sip of wine by the way cheers ah everything is better with wine okay Let's go back to here. Now, this is a LAMP application. Friendica is a LAMP sort of application. And in fact, let's uh, let's get it right now, okay? Let's go to the releases and we're gonna go Friendica full and I'm gonna say um, copy link address and I'm gonna just do a wget and I'm gonna say paste and uh, get the code here. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All right, we've got the whole thing. All right, so let's go to slash var slash whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that right on this thing? Yes, it is. Uh, HTML, and uh, I'm going to go tar dash xzvf slash root slash friendica code. So let's just expand that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to MV. Uh, actually, I'm not going to do this yet. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. 
but I've got the Friendica stuff all ready to go here, okay? So, so we've got the Apache 2 server working. All right, we're gonna need uh, MySQL on this thing. So let's uh, install the uh, MySQL server. App install MySQL server. All right, again, we're doing everything from scratch here. Remember, if you're here, say hello. Um, here we go. New password from MySQL root user. Okay, I'm gonna come up with a super secret password. And there we go, super secret password. Shh, don't tell anyone what I used. All right. Ah, lovely, lovely. Just wait for this to finish installing. There we go. And the next thing we're going to go is we're going to uh, we're going to finish up setting a MySQL. I think it's is it secure connection? There we go. Secure installation. There we go. Enter the password for the root user. Uh, validate password plugin can be used to test passwords. I don't care. Uh, change the password for root. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm I'm good with what it is at the moment. Remove anonymous users. Yes, I want to remove the anonymous users. Disallow remote root logins. Yes, I want to disallow that. Remove test database and access to it. Yes, I want to do that as well for security reasons. Reload privilege table now. Yes. There we go. We're all done. We got MySQL set up. Isn't this exciting? All right. Now we need PHP because, you know, we got to do the, uh, the whole LAMP thing. So we got Linux, Apache, MySQL, and now we need PHP. That's what LAMP stands for. I know you all know that, but, you know, L-A-M-P. Linux, Apache, MySQL, and uh, PHP. Uh, well, you know, or Perl. I mean, it could be Perl as well, but nobody uses Perl anymore. I'm <clears throat> sorry. My apologies to all the Perl people out there. Seriously, I was just kidding. Honest. All right, here we go. Apt, install, PHP. And I know that we're gonna need uh, lib Apache, Apache 2, what is it? Dash mod dash PHP, I think is correct. Uh, we're gonna need PHP dash mcrypt. Uh, and we're gonna need PHP, well, obviously MySQL, PHP MySQL. And I happen to know from looking at the dependencies that we're gonna need PHP, whoops, not pup, PHP dash curl. PHP dash uh, GD, PHP dash DOM, and I think the, I think the last one is MB string. I think I think we'll find out when I try to run it whether I've got all the things I need. All right, so we install those guys. We install those guys. Almost there. It's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. All right. Well, while it's doing that, I'm going to have another sip of wine. Um, by the way, I am open to taking suggestions for future episodes of things you'd like me to cover. So just let me know. Uh, often I like to do things that are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A desktop Linux based. Uh, but, you know, things like this are fun too, especially since everybody hates Facebook right now. I mean, that's what it feels like, isn't it? Everybody hates Facebook. All right. So we're going to need to restart Apache now we've got all these modules loaded, especially all the uh, MySQL stuff. So let's do that. Let's go uh, SYSTM. Actually, I've got it. I've got it in my stack here, don't I? So let's just do it this way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. Restart Apache. Okay, so we've restarted Apache. So the way to find out whether this actually works is um, is uh, with a, a little script called... Uh, we're going to call this little script... Uh, info.php and if I go into info.php we're going to do a really simple little script called which says uh, php on the start line and then we're going to go php info open bracket close bracket semicolon and on the third line we got a question mark and close bracket so this is what the uh, the little uh, little file looks like that we're going to do to make sure that things are actually working on the system okay so I'm going to write that and if you take a look, that's in the HTML now, okay? HTML, but there's also the info.php. So if I go up here and I type colon slash info.php, and there you go. It works. It works. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right. So the only other thing that I want here is, you know how it says index.html down there? I want it so that the system will automatically execute, or if you'll pardon the expression, execute, but make live, if you will, uh, pages that are .php. 
So when you visit uh, when you visit friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com, uh, it will automatically uh, activate the index.php file, which isn't there at the moment. But uh, let's do this. That is uh, ah, where where is that? Um, etc uh, apache mods oh oh um um ah, da -da 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 -da. mods no hang on hang on I'm, I'm i'm having trouble here uh okay let's just go to cd slash because I'm, I'm having trouble with what it is cd slash apache 2 uh all right where are we here ports.conf, uh, lsstardeer.conf, where are you? You are in mods of, mods enabled. All right, vi, mods enabled, deer.conf. All right, and uh, see where, see that index.php is not in here. So I'm gonna add it index.php so that that is one of the ones that automatically gets picked up by the system. So again, we're gonna restart. We're gonna restart uh, system CTL, restart Apache 2. And we should be, oh, uh, I do want mod rewrite, A2 E and mod rewrite. I hope I've got the module installed. Okay. All right, good. I think I've got everything covered. All right, so let's go back to slash var slash, I'm sorry, slash var slash whoa, whoa, whoa. And uh, CD HTML and okay, so we've got Friendica down there. You see Friendica, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to move everything that's in the Friendica folders. So I'm going to go MV Friendica star dot. So all that stuff is sitting in here now. And then I'm going to go MV because I know that um, Friendica, uh, Friendica what dash. Uh, .ht, there's the .ht access file for that. So I'm gonna put in the .ht access file. Okay, um, I am no doubt going to be missing one or two things here, but uh, let's see if I have everything covered at this point. Um, okay, so now uh, if I go to this and I just take type index.php, okay, uh, view uh, smart e3 must be writable by the web server. Okay, uh, ls, there's the view folder. So ch mod uh, g plus, because um, g plus w, oh, sorry, dash r, dash capital R, g plus w, view. I'll make sure if there's anything else down there. All right, let's try it again. Okay, that still doesn't work. Hmm. Um, you, I mean, I'm sure you must already be covered. How about now? Hmm. It's have to be, it can't be 777, can it? Maybe just for install, we'll find out if that's the case. All right, let's try it again. Well, I'll be darned. It does have to be. Oh, image magic PHP extension not installed. All right. And .hpconfig.php is writable. I think that that's what we want. URL rewrite is URL rewrite is not working. Uh, okay, well let's do these in sequence. Image magic PHP expense extension is not installed. That's uh, that's the easy one. So let's go apt install uh, PHP dash what is it? It's iMagic, I think. Is that right? Brilliant, it is. All right, another sip of wine. Ah, wunderbar. All right, okay, excellent. All right, so check again. Um, HP Magic extension is not installed. Oh, I got, oh, sorry, I have to restart Apache, sorry. Okay, at this point I've got, there we go. Apache 2 and whoops cancel it's not what I want I want to do check again all right dot ht is not okay dot ht config is not writable okay so dot dot so ls dash a uh, where's the dot ht config uh, we do not have a dot ht config so cp ht config dot php dot ht config dot php 
So that's not there at the moment. And uh, let me see, H .htconfig.php is not writable. Okay, it has to be right. Hmm. Ah, okay, this is, the web server is owned by root, but not everything here is owned by root. Okay, I see the problem here. All right, hold on. Um, uh, chown dash r. Again, this is not the ideal way that I want you to set up a web server. You know, we should have it running under its own ID, blah, blah, blah. But I'm, this is, this is to save time today, okay? All right, HTML. All right, so now if I do this again, how are we doing now? Check again. PHP is still not writable. Oh, has to be writable by the group. Okay. Um, uh, chmod g plus, oh, sorry, plus w uh, dot ht config. All right. Is that good? Tell me it doesn't have to be 777. That would be insane. Okay, waiting for, waiting for, patience, hmm, am I still connected? Yep, I'm still connected. <laughs> All right, go X, check again. Check again. See, this is the sort of thing that doesn't happen when I pre-record all these things. Um, make it the web server user. Yeah, that is what I should be doing. I'm The web server user is actually root by default on Ubuntu. So that is why I'm leaving it that way for the moment. Why are we taking all this time? All right. Is the web server running? Um, why are we taking so long on here? All right, all right, all right. Uh, we are taking forever reconnecting here. Why, why is that the case? Htop, uh, apt install htop. Is there something happening on the server? Are we having network issues over at Linode? Htop, htop, um, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, didn't send any data. Empty page. All right. Oh, you know what? Uh, rewrite. I didn't actually do it. I didn't do the allow override, did I? Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, Why are all denied? Uh, rewrite rule. Um, okay, hold on a second. Uh, vi slash etc slash apache2 apache2.conf uh, allow override uh, all. Again, I'm trying to simplify things here. This is not a perfect uh, web server setup. This is me trying to make it work quickly. All right, uh, let's restart Apache. Uh, restart, all right, shall we do this again? Hmm, friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com. See, this is what happens when you watch live. You watch things break down. Where's the filter? Is live video stream? I cannot see the video. Would you please post the recorded version on IRC later? Yes, I will post the recorded version later. No worries. In fact, if you go to linuxjournal.com a little bit later on, um, Hako, if you go there, you will see it at that point. Okay, we'll be on linuxjournal.com on the main page a little bit later today, as soon as uh, as soon as soon uh, it is finished processing there. All right, let's check this out. Tail slash var slash log slash Apache. Why are we... Um, error.log. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Apache 2... Command line, waiting for, waiting for. What are we waiting for? Hmm. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I do not see. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's just go from scratch here. Freethinkerlarge.com. I'm not seeing anything in the error log here. Apache is running, so that's obviously not the problem there. All right, so let's uh, let's do the service still work on here. Apache two stop. Yep. All right. Is Apache actually stopped. All right. Let's start this, and let's see what happens. What is happening? What is happening? I'm not seeing anything in the logs. There's the access log. Uh, Q equals install. Is it because I've already started it? All right. Let's do the Q install then. Um, XPHP question mark Q equals install. Okay. Question mark. Q equals install. Is it because we have already started the install? He says wonderingly. Reload. Reload, reload, reload. Hmm. I am really stumped. I'm really stumped. If somebody has a if somebody has a bright idea on what I'm doing wrong here, I'm tempted to just blow away the folder and just try again because I am perplexed. Perplexed. I am perplexed. What waiting for? We are timing out. If I could just go straight to the IP address, which would be insane, but I have config the IP address for this thing is 45. Dot. Yeah, we're having some weird issue with waiting for 45, 33, 91, 104. No, that is definitely not it. That is definitely not it. I. What is the delay? What is the delay? All right, let's, uh, you know what? Um, I'm just going to reload this. I'm just going to reload this. So tar dash XZ or X, XZ VF because I am perplexed. Um, all right. I can just kind of stop this for a second here because I'm, uh, I don't want to keep fighting with it. Okay, so CP, um, sorry, MV. You know what? Let's uh, clean this up and just start from scratch. I'm going to move mvhtml uh, to html.old, mostly because I want to take a look at this at some point a little bit later. So mkdir html. All right, so a html. And now I'm going to do the same tar thing over here. Let's do this again. Let's see what happens. Uh, auto load PHP um, ls. Whoops, ls, and I know that this is going to say. Um, actually, let's just let's just do this right here. Okay, there's no index.php there, so okay, so Control C, ls, so mvf dot mv, and we've got the dot ht over here. All right, so let's try it again. Okay, all right, so we're back in business apparently. So CD view, um, CD view, because apparently Smarty needs to be fully writable. So let's do that again. Okay, HT config is writable. Um, it is, you know what? I'm going to skip the HT config because that seems to be where things broke down, is when the HT config thing fell apart. All right, so next, it does seem to be wet when I copy the HT config. Okay, so we need a database. All right, so we're going to create a MySQL database now. The MySQL database is this MySQL dash U, dash, oh, sorry, root dash P. All right, and we're going to put it the password, which was super secret. All right, so create 
database and for the sake of um, you know, not being particularly clever, I'm just going to call it Friendica. Okay. Now we also need a user that can write this database as well. So this is going to be um, grant all privileges on Friendica.ca. Sorry, Friendica.star. In other words, all of the tables associated with Friendica database uh, to Friendica. Um, is what I'm going to call the admin user on this thing. Okay, so it's going to be called Friendica identified by, and the password is going to be, oh, I don't know, um, be my friend. There we go. That's what it's going to be. Identified by be my friend. Now I'm going to say flush privileges. For privileges, privileges. There we go. Flush privileges. Okay. And theoretically, theoretically, that part should work. So database login name is Friendica. N-B-I-C-A, database login password is uh, be my friend. There we go. Because, you know, because it's a it's a social network, right? F-R-I-E-N-D-I-C-A is the uh, database name. Submit. And, uh, well, sure, why not? Site administrator email address. I'm going to make this my site email administration. Okay, so marcel at marcelgagne.com. Um, and I'm going to say Los Angeles. No, let's go to Toronto. Toronto. All right. So Toronto language. Perfect. Submit. There we go. Your friend site database has been installed. The configuration could not be written. All right. So control A, control C. All right. Oh, sorry. Quit. Um, vi.htconfig.php. This is obviously where it all fell apart before. So I'm going to say paste, shift ZZ, and what's next? Blah, 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 blah. All right, has been installed. So let's just do this now. Let's go. Hey, there you go. It works. It works. All right, I'm going to say, I'm going to use my email address here, marcel at marcelgagne.com. Woohoo! It works. It works. And my login. A oh, user not found. User not found. Um, uh, is that is that the username? Friendica login. Okay. Uh, do I have to create an initial user? So let's go home and uh, sign up now. All right. Let's say sign up now. I guess yeah. I guess you have to sign up. All right, full name, Marcel Gagne. Email address, marcel at marcelgagne.com. New password. Um, all right, choose a nickname. I'm going to call my nickname, um, I'm going to call my nickname uh, Francois. There you go, Francois. Include in the, in the uh, member directory. I'm going to say no for now. Ah, yes, whatever. It doesn't matter. So we can look it up. Sign up now. All right, log in with your, okay, so now if I go marcel at marcelgagne.com, am I logging in? Does it work? No? Oh, uh, Francois. Okay, that works. Francois does log in, save, uh, you know, I'll say save, sure, why not? Um, let's go immediately. I believe that that is my admin user. Okay. That is my admin user. Okay. So slash admin. So the first user you create is going to be your admin user. Keep that in mind. Okay. That's going to be your admin user. Excuse me. All right. Let's take a look at the site configuration. Site name, my friend network. Uh, let's call it, uh, friends of Linux journal, uh, Oh, no, let's call it Friendly Friends of Linux Journal. There we go. Friendly Friends of Linux Journal. Hostname, friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com. Sender email. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to bother at the moment. Um, I mean, that could be mine, but it's going to default to the admin login. Uh, some shortcut, I can additional information. Uh, this is the Linux, uh, Linux Journal. Friendica server. And remember, this is a test server. So mobile system theme, no special theme for mobile device. That's because <clears throat> I don't have anything else installed at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to say save settings. Uh, register text. Oh, go ahead and register. 
All right. That's my register text, register policy open. Obviously we can change that so that they require approval, but I'm gonna leave it open for the moment. Maximum daily registrations, obviously, so you don't get spammed and uh, you know a million people log in. Or if you wanted, you could just say closed. And then that way you're the one that creates all the user ID. So let's just say requires approval on this. Um, so let me see, save settings on this one and uh, registration requires approval, good. File upload size, policies, allow friend, allowed friend domains. I'm just gonna ignore all the stuff at the moment and I'm gonna go to users. At the moment, the only user is me. I am the only user on the system. Add-ons, uh, there are currently no add-ons on the site. You can find additional add-ons on HTTPS, github.com, friendica, slash friendica.addons, okay? And uh, I'm not doing that one at the moment because um, because uh, that's uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep this to the point where this actually works. Additional features, general features, multiple profiles, yes or no, uh, photo location, uh, you can organize where your photo location is. Uh, export public calendar sure i'm just obviously i'm just playing around with this at the moment um post composition features post preview sure let's allow a post preview um network sidebar widgets search by date sure that sounds like a good idea uh list forums sounds like a good idea <clears throat> excuse me sure all those things sound like a good idea so, um, database update, uh, logs, I'm just gonna go back to home. And uh, now I could conceivably go in and there's my picture over here, but uh, I can go to Marcel profile and uh, edit profile. And now we can do things like, uh, you know, change, uh, upload a, a photo, um, you know, change additional information about where I am, whether I want to include uh, contact information on the site or not. Obviously, if this is going to be a private social network, like for your friends or family or your organization, uh, you're gonna more you're gonna be more interested in doing that. But um, but uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, let me see, uh, writer and free thinker at large, and occasionally confused Linux guy. Uh, well, not just Linux, con confused, but confused everything. I'm confused about everything on a regular basis. There we go. So Marcel, tips for new members, profile. There we go, about. So all this stuff is there. I could obviously upload a new photo. Um, and then of course you can open your site for registration to new people. And if you happen to be one of the people that's online at the moment and you wanna try it out, why not? Go to friendica.freethinkeratlarge.com and uh, and uh, register with an account. I'm gonna leave this up for, oh, I don't know, a day or two for people to play with. Uh, after that, I will no doubt just get rid of this thing. But for the next day or two, I'm gonna leave this thing up so that people can play with it, okay? So you can see what this is like and you can check it out for yourself. And that, that is where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, I'm going to leave it with this little note, which is obviously, thank you again to Linux Journal for helping make this possible. Uh, make sure you come here, linuxjournal.com, and that you do subscribe. And then, of course, here's the other thing that you got to do. You got to go over to youtube.com slash freethinker at large, which is my YouTube channel. Okay, this is my YouTube channel where you're going to find all the videos, including including the one which is happening right now. This one is uh, obviously live, but later on today it will be available for the uh, wide world to watch, like as in the people who weren't watching it live at the moment. Everybody will be able to see it a little bit later on. And, uh, and of course, you can check out all my other Cooking with Linux videos, which are here. Uh, I play a lot of games online as well, so you can check out my game videos. And, um, you know, please, please, uh, over, you'll, you'll see that there's a riot, red subscribe button. And in fact, oh, let's do this. Oh, I don't have, a, I don't have another, I could bring up uh, Conqueror. Is Conqueror preloaded on here? Conqueror is preloaded. Good old Conqueror. All right, let's bring up Conqueror for fun here. And we're going to go to Linux Journal. Oh, sorry, we're going to go to uh, YouTube. Whoa, YouTube.com slash free thinker at large. I'm going to put all this in the show notes. And uh, you'll notice that there is going to be a nice bright red subscribe button. You want to click that bright red subscribe button. This one right here, this one right here, you want to click that, okay? So do that. And um, 
If there's something else that you'd like me to cover on a future show, I'm gonna go back to uh, I'm gonna go back to my screen here and transition back to my face on the screen. So if there's something else you'd like me to cover in a future show, if there's something that you'd like to see done and you'd like to see it done live because you like to see me mess up and make mistakes and screw up and <laughs> and try to recover under pressure, um, please by all means leave comments, uh, give me a thumbs up, share this with friends, family, neighbors, your dog, your cat, your hamster, you name it, the whole thing. Like I said, subscribe, and uh, there'll be a Patreon link down there as well. If you feel so inclined, um, you know, you can throw a few pennies my way as well. But again, thanks to Linux Journal for making this possible, and uh, we'll see you next time on Cooking with Linux on Tuesdays, live without a net. Bye. And uh, I'm going to hit the stop, stop streaming button. I'm about to hit it. Here it goes. Stop streaming.